I always find it helpful when I'm practicing to impose some sort of limitation on what I'm doing. It just helps reduce the overwhelm and narrow my focus in a productive way. <laughs> I talk a lot about practicing with a metronome. I love practicing with a metronome. Huge benefits for me. But sometimes I'm practicing without a metronome. Metronome? Metronome. And that is also really important, really critical, to try to internalize the time feel, to have that time feel constant. So I was doing this the other day, and I thought it'd be fun to show you what was going on in my head when I was actually doing this thing. I was just experimenting with two different chords, a one chord and a four minor chord. So concert F major and concert B flat minor. And I'm just going back and forth between those on a loop, but I'm not doing it with any accompaniment, not even a metronome, which you know I love to do. But the reason for this, one of the reasons, is just that internal time feel. Yes, metronomes are fantastic. I absolutely advocate you use them almost all the time drum loops, play alongs, they all have their benefit. But at the end of the day, you want to develop that internal kind of physical pulse. So what I'm aiming to do here is go through this short clip of me, just this improvised practice on these two chords and give you a sense of what I'm hearing as I was doing it. So this is the setup right here. I'm just establishing the rhythm and the feel for myself. Ah, uh, it's okay, got off. But I get back on track, back on track. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so different rhythms. I'm trying different rhythms, syncopations. You know, you'll hear triplets, double times, double times, double time, eighth notes. I mean, a lot of different variety. And internally, I'm just trying to do what I what I'm just doing here by banging on the table. That's what I, that's the kind of the internal motor that's churning as I'm playing. So no matter what happens with what I do or don't execute, I, I'm trying to stick to that kind of a magnet, that pulse as a magnet. Obviously, it's it's not. Uh, perfect. It's not metronomic, but that's okay. The, I think the pulse is there like, you know, 95% of the time. That's, that's what I'm going for. And by keeping the harmony pretty, well, small, let's just say small, two chords, it allows me to develop a lot of the other things that I might not be able to do if it was, say, a whole, the whole form of a song or something. So give that a try. I find it to be really valuable, very helpful. By the way, the Inside Outside Saxophone Retreat is happening again this summer. We are back at Wooten Woods outside Nashville, Tennessee. Visit insideoutsideretreat.com for more information. We have a cap of 36 players this year, so I know it's filling up fast. Insideoutsideretreat.com, check it out. It's a really amazing week. We ran it for five years before COVID happened, and it's really, it's really unique. It's unlike anything else you'll ever experience. So it's not for everybody, but it might be for you. Check out the website.